Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle, Seaside Crafter. Um, thank you for all my new subbies and uh, everyone watching the videos while I was on a brief hiatus. I do apologize. I got a new job, so I have to travel a lot and I'm going like 12 hours a day. So still trying to find that work-life balance. And But in the meantime, I do have some hauls that I've done in between. And I just wanted to show you some of the awesome things that I got. So, I do apologize also if um, you hear any dogs barking or any cats jump up. I am currently in the living room at the moment filming this because my craft room is a one-woman disaster. And I'm trying to uh, go through that and uh, organize and get rid of stuff. So, at the moment, it's difficult to just get to my craft table. So... I'm going to start with this. This is a Instant Wall Art Botanical Prints. I got this from Savers. I think it was $3.99. This is awesome. It has 45 ready to, ready to frame vintage illustrations. And some of them were ripped out. I don't know if they're all here. I didn't really pay attention to that. But these are absolutely beautiful um, images. They're just so pretty. And they are, you know, like the vintage plates that you find in books. Ooh, look at that one. That rose. I love vintage roses. So this was really cool. And that was that was a uh, $3.99. So that was a that was a good deal. I also uh I got this book. This was a really cool book. I'm not sure how old it is, but just look at that old man Santa and his little toys he's putting. He's putting in. Let's see if we have a date for this. This is a Whitman book. Um, no, it doesn't have. Maybe in the back. But we know it's old. Just you can tell. <laughs> look at him. That's so awesome. And I love the colors and the graphics. So he was cute. I think this was a dollar and I got this at, um, we went to, um, we went to the, uh, elephant's trunk flea market again. And, um, it's on the, it's in Connecticut, but it's close to New York. And we went there and I got this for a dollar. I got a couple other books there, but in my, uh, my mess, I can't seem to find anything. I found these at Goodwill, which is really cool because they're the tag. They're not very vintage -y, but they're tags. They were probably half off because I don't think I would have spent $2 on these, but I think they were a dollar. Um, but these are really cool. The, you know, the labels. That was cute. I know this isn't craft related, but how awesome is this frame? Actually, it goes like this. So this is like plexiglass actually yeah it's got to be plexiglass and it's a you know they distress this frame and it has this other frame on top with cherubs and like an old thing but if you flip it over you can see how it is a picture frame isn't this awesome oh my god this was so awesome i think i found this at goodwill and it wasn't it wasn't much money at all i want to say maybe it was like three or four dollars it was awesome so we also went to um we went to this uh the church sale that we go to every year and they changed it this year where they made it um friday and saturday instead of saturday and sunday so what happens then we don't know we go on a saturday and we didn't know it opened on friday and everything was 75% off. So we still got some really good things. So I got to look at these little rope. Oh, here we are. So all of these were 75% off. And then sometimes they just like threw things in because, you know, it's the last day. They want to get rid of things. I don't know why they didn't wait for Sunday. But so I got a whole bunch of these little, geez, little ribbons, all different colors. We have white and cream and pink. And I mean, it says $2, but I'm pretty sure they were like a quarter or something, which who's paying $2 for that? Well, I don't know. Maybe that's how much they were, but that was that. And you always find, see like this 
two yards of this lace trim and well it was 75% off so it was a quarter and it's really pretty I'm not going to open the whole thing up but see how pretty that is you could probably gather that or just put it like that that was really nice um, and then this was just like vintage all kinds of vintage lace I do really good there with vintage lace and um, doilies because they they always have people are always donating stuff to that but look at this look how pretty that is this must have obviously been on something and they cut that off those little rosettes and things that's cute some old lace oh I love the old lace Look at that old lace. Look at that old lace. This stuff, which is floating around here. Fiber rope, which is this stuff. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. You know, and if even if you find little snippets, we all use little snippets of lace and things. So, I'm trying not to bounce too much. This is pretty. That's a pretty one, too. I love the old. Obviously, everybody loves the old lace. This one was a mishmash. I don't know about that. Uh, that glittery. That glittery stuff. But we'll see. I got to. I got to come off camera because I got to lean over and it's, you know. So we got some sequin trim. You got more sequin trim. That's actually. On a, it's not elastic, but it's on something, so that's cute. Let's see if I can get closer. We have a little piece of that, a little piece of that trim with the pearls, that little brocade. Some regular white lace. Oh, that's the whole thing. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, this is really pretty. That pretty pretty. That was that was in that bag. And we were very surprised when we went and then you know they said everything's 75% off. Here's some ruffled eyelet trim. Cute. This was really pretty. Look at this. This okay, so this is a yard for 50 cents. So how much 75% off that? I don't even know what that is. 10 cents, I don't know, 15 cents, but look how pretty that is. That is really pretty. That would make a really pretty pocket in a journal. That pretty lace, and it's gathered like that. Got that, and oh, 14 yards of this. Let's just see what this one is. All right, pretty, just basic little pretty crochet trim like in an ecru color I've been trying to you're gonna laugh I've been trying to teach myself how to tat and yeah just say it's not going well so I got some old um, patterns here here's a pack of some old buttons with the buttons still attached which is really really cool Again, 50 cents, but what's 75% off of 50 cents? I have no idea. Look at this one. How cute. These are really cute. And then I did, oh, I did get this one. This one was at Savers. This one was $2.99 for two of them. So, oh my God, you know what I found when I was cleaning my craft room? I found huge plastic bag that like a comforter comes in well first of all let's look at this one oh, that's cute if I wanted to actually sew a shirt which I kind of like shirts like that but that's not a vintage one but this one was but look at that yes this has to be the 80s this has to be early 80s I love it I can never find the dates on these things they're so difficult yeah Oh, 1982. There we go. Look at that. So, I found this huge bag of patterns that I must have gotten at some point at Goodwill. And it must have been half off. So, this, this one was 2 dollars 
Oh, I just got <laughs> this isn't vintagey, but I got this because because of these cat houses. And I figured also, well, I figured because you know, I think I'm this great sewer, but look at these cute little things. Look at that fish for the cats. Cats love hiding spots. So I figured that for the cats and look at that how cute that is, that little girl. That was cute. But anyway, I just got it for the cats. And uh so I found this huge bag of patterns. And then as I'm also cleaning, I'm like, look at all of this fabric I have. I have a ridiculous amount of fabric, which it is ridiculous. It's just obnoxious. So then I also did my uh Tim Holtz haul. Um Actually, before I do that, I found another bag right here of stuff that I got from that yard sale. So this is a round tablecloth. So this was 75% off, but it's like, um, it's like cotton, like a, I guess it could be like a muslin and it was, so you know what I'm thinking. I'm just going to either use it for book covers and stuff like that. And then I got, um, Six yards plus two yards of this stuff. This is just like a trim, which I think it's funny when they do that. But this is a pretty trim. It's like little little tassels coming off it. It's really pretty. And there's a lot of it too, which I'm sure I won't ever go through all of that. And I have, like I said, I have good luck with getting doilies there. And I got a whole bunch of things. Oh, this was a loop lace. And everything was 75% off. But look how pretty that is. It must have come off something. Oh, he has a collar. Look at that, how pretty that is. See? I can't do anything with that. Lace collar. Well, I mean, I have to figure something out to do with it. But that is just darling. That is just so adorable. He has some more lace. Thick lace. It's all cotton. Oh, I got all of these little, I got these little hankies. Um, they were just so cute. They had these cute little corners to them. And they had four of them, and I couldn't even tell you how much they were. Probably a quarter. Oh, here's another set. And these have a nice little embroidery corner. And you can tell, like, they're aged and there's stains on them. So they're probably going to be a pocket of some kind. And I got this one because I like the lace, even though they're stained. And I like how they pin all the pin them all together. But they have really pretty crocheted ends. And that's what I love about the old hankies. They have beautiful crocheted ends on them. And this is, I don't, well, this must be something. But it's really pretty and it has roses on it. See the rose pattern? I'm actually working on a rose journal. I might have to incorporate that into it. And I just thought this one was fun. Look at this one. How old is this? I think this is like a a dinner napkin or something. But look at that. Look at that trim. Trim is hysterical. Oh, that's the back side. So that's the front. That trim is hysterical. That's 1970s right there. That color. And then I got... Some like this with that cute little, that cute little basket. I wonder how they made these like this to put the holes in them and stuff. But there was four of those pinned together. And I like how they pin everything together. This was really pretty. Even though obviously you see it's stained. And, but it's got a really pretty crocheted lace on the corner. And all the little cut out cut out work see how stained that is so some doilies so even though it's stained you know I can coffee dye it and whatnot this was pretty this was really delicate that was pretty too cute little ones this little bitty one Someone did a lot of work on that one, I'll tell you. Pretty, pretty. Then there was hand crocheted. <laughs> Someone wrote good. Wait, they wanted 50. Oh, that's not it. That's not, nope. That's 
something else. Lace trim, $2. I actually got... Okay, so it did say, what is that? 78 by 96 hand crocheted. I bought a tablecloth hand crocheted, so it was 75% off, 50 bucks. I don't know, maybe it was like $15 or something. And it's absolutely amazing, and I will show that to you. So there's all these little, just little odds and ends of lace and trims and... Look at that, that gold wire-like stuff. Oh, yeah, here's more of that bead trim. That's pretty. Another little applique. And look at this pretty. This is kind of, like, um, stretchy, but, you know, it was probably, like, for, like, a sleeve. That's what I'm thinking. It was, like, for a sleeve because it's, it's a little springy. But look how delicate, look how delicate those flowers are and whatnot. Oh, it's so pretty. So that was all in there. This is a disaster. So I did find, which I thought was really pretty. Oh, this is a, um, this is a, a table runner. But you can see that it's old. It has like yellow spots and things on it. But it's real. It's not stained. It just has those yellow spots. But it's beautiful. Look at that with those blue flowers. So I was thinking maybe some kind of a a blue a blue cover on it. See, it came from the elephant, the white elephant sale. But that was really pretty. I also found some black. It's fabric. It's like um not. It's like a little furry, but it's like a flat fur, if you can see what I mean. And I was figuring, you know, I mean, it is October, but I was figuring, oh, I can do a, you know, a Halloween journal or something and some really pretty, this is some red velour, which is really pretty. I mean, 50 cents and then it was 75% off. That's craziness. I got some guest towels, but they have really pretty things on them and like here's this one which was I know it's old but look at that pretty they use like a variegated thread to do the edging and so many cute ones look at that one with the butterflies I liked the blue this is just old oh so many things in here some more doilies Two guest towels, good, and I love these colors because this is like a peachy, and it's the same kind of design, and in a, in a mint. I loved that one. Doily, doily, <laughs> so many doilies. Look at this one. Someone must. I don't know what happened here, but this was this was so cute. It must have just come off, or someone was gonna take it apart. I found this too. This is a piece of, I couldn't even tell you, but look at the beautiful, it's like taffeta. Is that, I, think it, I think it is taffeta. It's taffeta, but look at that beautiful flower image. And this just reminded me of coming off some kind of fancy dress from like the 20s or something or like the 30s because, oh, I don't know, maybe it came from a book because look at this, some paper attached, but Maybe it was like a, from a sampler book, but that is just beautiful. Maybe that was a sample that you could get on a dress. So here's some more of a trim. So it's round, so it must have come off something. And here's another loop lace, so it must have come off something. I apologize if I'm going too fast here. You know, kind of crooked. But this is this this is the lace. Um, tablecloth and I actually think it's perfect I don't think there are any problems with it I'm just going to show you what it looks like and it's it's darker than it shows up in this video but look how beautiful this is and someday when I clean off my dining room table I may put it on <laughs> I do have another one that I put on but this one I think this one's a lot bigger I mean it's huge and I really couldn't bring myself to cut this up because it's if they're, if they're good, you know, if it has an issue, then I don't have a problem with it because people don't really want to put tablecloths that have, like, issues. I mean, maybe some people can fix the issues. 
I personally cannot at this point. So, okay, let me get to my Tim Holtz. My Tim Holtz, I'm just trying to put some of this stuff away because if I don't, I'm going to have cats jumping all over it. So let me get to my Tim Holtz haul. And I got this. I got these stuff, things for Halloween, which I know it's the middle of October. But they were so cute, and I loved that little witch. And I got these from scrapbook.com. And I liked the skeleton, and it was just all really, really cool. So this is the mini Halloween four. Or no, maybe just Millie Hall mini Halloween. But I just loved, I just thought that was so cute. Very, very cute. To add to my stash, I got this embossing folder, the testing, the texture fades. Um, what is this one called? Tapestry. That's really pretty. I love, I love, uh, the embossing folders. That was text, that was, um, tapestry. Then I did get this stencil. And this is called Thorned because I am working on a rose journal. I've been working on that for months. So that, we all know I'm slow to begin with. Already slow. So... Um, I also got this 3D Texture Fades folder, and which one is this one? Cracked, I think. Yeah, Cracked. That's going to be wicked cool. I thought that would be really cool. And so then I got, this is the Layers and Paper Dolls, the Halloween 2023. Okay, so that's fine. I looked at it and it had people and things and whatnot so then I'm like all right I'm gonna get the Halloween paper dolls because I'm thinking oh they're gonna be like spooky <laughs> paper dolls Halloween they are not spooky they're just a lot of them and I was thinking well maybe they'll have like witches and they'll have like um I mean it shows you right here but you know when you're buying things so that's, that was my take on it that, oh, and then it came with like those awesome like Halloween images, which maybe I wasn't even paying attention to those, but those are really cool. But that wasn't the point. The point was, I thought I was getting like, maybe they did spooky people and, you know, people with, made people into bats and things like that. That is literally what I thought I was getting. But it isn't. It's just different people and different, you know. Oh, but look at this one. This one's wicked cute. Look at these guys. They are adorable. So I was like, oh, well, see, she's cute too, like a little gypsy. But then I was like, oh, well, if, if I'm going to get them, you know, they're going to sell out. So I need to get two. Why, Michelle? Why? So I did get two. And after I realized... They're just regular people, so now I have two. Oh, uh, and I have, I don't know, a whole bunch of them now. And I, plus I have the Halloween, the other Halloween, the layers too. So that was that. So I was like, oh, well now I'm stuck with all of these people, which is fine because, you know, we're going to craft with them. And then for my, um, you know, when they have things that you can get for free on scrapbook.com depending on when you order well they had this one which was a die and it just says hi so I was like oh that's awesome because you know you can do a really pretty background and then cut this out it's like a contrasting color and I was thinking of doing like alcohol inks on like the Yupo paper and get something really pretty I haven't done that yet but that is on my agenda and I think that is it for now and I want to thank you so much for joining me, and I apologize for me not being on YouTube, And but I plan on doing it because I'm getting close to um, 200 subscribers, and I do have a, um, a prize for my 200 um, subscriber. I will have a giveaway for that, and I'll do another video showing you that with some other goodies. All right, so stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.